UFOs have fascinated people for years. Now before we discuss this topic, it's important to remember that a UFO is simply an object that someone cannot identify at that moment in time. It's only been in recent years that UFOs have been linked to extraterrestrial beings. One interesting case happened in Zimbabwe. On the 16th of September, back in 1994, there was a sudden influx of strange reports made by citizens all across the country of unidentified flying objects hovering over houses and small towns. These strings of reports would only be quickly forgotten shortly after. But not long after these reports, a much more impossible to explain encounter took place. Known as the Zimbabwe Aerial School Encounter, more than 60 children claimed to witness a large unidentified flying object. This craft was described as being metallic and disc-shaped in design, with several small grey aliens emerging from the spaceship and communicating with the children telepathically. This reported event would then lead to an investigation from BBC reporters, as well as countless hours of recorded interviews and footage with the children that all confirmed each other's stories. The event is reported to have begun at around 10am in the morning. The children were aged from 5 to 12 years old, with the temperature outside being around 32 degrees. A few of the children then started to point into the sky and claim that they could see silver orbs. It wasn't long before the rest of the children soon noticed the mysterious object. Several reports went on to say that the objects disappeared in the sky, only to reappear once more and then make their way to the ground. The silver crafts landed around 300 feet from the playground. The children stayed back because the surrounding area is known for having venomous spiders and snakes. A humanoid that was described as being 3 foot tall then exited the craft and started to make its way towards the children. One of the witnesses reported that the humanoid had a large head, narrow face and long neck, further saying that it was grey in colour and moved funny. The small humanoid was said to have explored its surrounding, seemingly unaware that it was being watched by a small crowd. However, it soon turned its attention to the crowd and started to approach the children. The crowd, being of a young age, was understandably upset by the humanoid, and it was reported that this scared the majority of the children. As the group watched the creature, it was said to have suddenly vanished, only to quickly reappear behind the shiny craft. After this, the group entered the school and reported what they had seen to the teachers. The woman working at the snack bar, however, refused to leave her station, and by the time adults went outside, there was nothing to be seen. Interestingly, as some have pointed out, the children would report the same thing, and they even drew what they saw that day, with all the drawings looking similar to one another. The headmaster also came forward and said that he believed the students were telling the truth. One female student said the following to the headmaster, I swear by every hair on my head and the whole Bible that I am telling the truth. Despite the overwhelming evidence of this encounter and the claims made by the children, the story would be quickly covered up, and to this day is still one of the more obscure claims in the extraterrestrial community. So what do you make of this mysterious event? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.